I'm going to tell you about the best grammar schools in the UK. So I'm going to share my screen with you, which is already here. And I'm also going to tell you how to measure the distance from grammar schools. This is something everybody has to make a video for. That how do we measure the distance from grammar schools? It's really easy. And I will be telling you all how to do that. So let's first discuss about the best grammar schools in the UK. We you see, I'm sharing my screen with you all to tell you the best grammar schools in the UK. I'll go a little slow to show you. You can also look at this website yourself afterwards. It's called the Good Grammar Schools website. And I'll go slow for you to show you the best grammar schools in the UK. So the best grammar school in the UK is Queen Elizabeth School. That's in the top of the league. And then I'll go slow, 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 slow to show you all the other grammar schools. And ways run girls means it's only girls. Boys means they'll take boys. And that's, they tell you how much the percentage is the progress rate. Maybe they look at the GCS results, how to do it. Harry Bennett is also there. Wilson is there. That's strange. Wilson is down. I thought it will be uh, up the league then. Harry Bennett, but it's not. Different girl is there. Reading, Reading is there. Remember, Orpington has only two super selective schools. That's St. That's Olive's and Euston Grammar School. Kent has a lot of schools. Kent has the majority of the grammar schools in the country. I'm going slow so all of you can have a look at them. These are all the best grammar schools in the country. Skinner's is there. That's 79% in the street percentage. Church is there. All the schools are here. So is this league table basically tells you where your school stands. I'm going slow. All of you can have a look at them and see who you're applying, where it is in the league. And where student boys' girls tells you it's, it's a boys' school or a girls' school, or is mixed. And this is this site tells you where the school is, which area the school is situated at. Like Chis Chiselhurst and Sitkap Grammar School is in that's in Sitkap. So it also tells you if I click on that. It also tells me about the school. It tells you where the school specializes on, what we keep telling everyone. This is something everyone should be looking at, what the school specialized in, basically. Then you go back. You can also click on any school you want, and you can know about that school. Like if I go for Bexley Grammar School, it tells me about everything about the school, what local authority is, boarding, no. And it tells you about the results also, obstacle registered, outstanding, outstanding. This is a really good way to see well before applying to any of the schools. Like I look at Awkward Park Grammar School. And if I look at the... Obstate. The best thing is to go up the obstate of the school and see how the school is. It tells you outstanding, good, good. So I mean, it's not so good. It's it's okay kind of school. Always go for the school which has outstanding or has really good. Like I, I'll go for the best school and see what they have done. I'll go for Q Barnet, Q E. Basically, I want to see about what they say about that school. A 
Well, let's look at St. Olives, what they say about that. School must be definitely outstanding. That's the school you should apply for. Outstanding, outstanding. Go for different school. That must be also outstanding. It's really good school. Here you go. Outstanding number one. So it also tells you that it's a really, really good school. So if you go to Good Grammar School, go on the website, have a look at the schools, click on the school, and then see what they say about the school. Again, Queen's Elizabeth School in Panet. Panet. It's a really outstanding school. It also tells you how many children are there in the school. That's a really good way to look at all the grammar schools in the country. If I look at King's Edward, that also is one of the outstanding schools. Outstanding, outstanding. So I would say that this is a really good way to look at schools. And another thing you feel like, is the school good for me or not? So I'm going to tell you now how to measure the school. So I'm going to share the screen again and show you I'm going to show you how to measure the school. It's really good. And you can all do it in your house. Just go to Google Maps. When you're going to Google Maps, just go to directions. Just write where you stay. If I write my postcode here, you can write any postcode and the school. Let me write Newstead. It will definitely tell me the distance first, but I want to know the miles. I want to measure the distance from my house to Newstead. I will double click on that. It just tells me, if I double click on that, it's so easy. It'll just tell me measure distance. Then I'll click here. Measure distance. So it just tells me the distance from the school You just need to click where you want the distance from. If I want the distance from here to here, you just draw a line. I'll just put my postcode here. You just need to remove the distance first. And after you remove the distance, just go there. That's the way you just do it. Just click on the distance where you want. Like I want the distance from my house to Newstead. So this is the way it's telling me. 
instead of new state let me write spinners this is another way again just write your postcode and See, it's telling me the distance from here. Total distance is 40.16 kilometers. So it tells me the distance. So you can also look at the school website. What distance of channel they are taking in. And you can just apply to that school. I can write any school from my web, from my house number from the school. If I write let's write defense boys school so i'll cancel this one i don't need all this i just need from my how just tick, click there from my house, it tells you how much distance it is. It's really far from my house. It's it's seventy four miles or something from my house. It's really really far. So you just need to clip, keep clicking where you want it to be. You to clear it off. Here you go. Clear it off. Gone. Do it back again. Again, I'll tell you how to do it. Just write your postcode. Write the school's name. Let's write Wilson. How far is Wilson School from my house? It'll tell me the distance. Take the distance away. So you need to drag it. You need to take the destination away to find the distance. Remember that. So it's also telling me the area, total area is this, total distance is this. And if I want to know the straight line, what the school always asks us, So wherever you want to move, where you're staying, just move it there. From your house, it tells you the distance, how much distance it is. Just going, move it the line where your house is and make the school. If you're staying here, maybe living in here and the school is somewhere here. It tells you the distance, it tells you total distance is 1.86. Where you string, just drag the line there. You'll come to know the distance. It's really easy. It's really easy to find the distance. Let's clear it again. Cleared. Again. And write your school, which school you want you to see the distance. I want to see Wilson. Or oh, let's see, I've seen all this is near my house. Tell me the plain line, just double click on that. Measure the distance. So they said that I need to put the line there 
from where I want the distance. Click on the map to add it. So I just need to add it here. Measure distance. You need to take the destination away. You can also see. Where you measuring the distance, your line, it tells you, just click on the line. It tells you where your house is. Just keep going till there. And then you can find from straight line how much is it is. It tells you in straight line where your house is. 400M, 200M. It's really nice way. Just go to Google Map and just do it. I hope measuring distances was easy for you all. And you can do that when you all stop seeing this video. So you, all of you must have found this video really useful. I thought that I will tell you, I'll tell everyone how to measure distance from their house to, to the school straight line, what the schools always say. So this is the way how you just see if just measure the straight line. You can just go to Google map and do it yourself. Because some parents like going on different apps and trying doing it. Google map is free. Try doing it. And if you want to see the schools, go to good school guide website and just have a look at the schools and click on them. And you can also know if the school is good or bad. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like this, give a like to this video and please subscribe to our channel if you have not. Thanks. Bye.